first thing you need to do before anything by the radiator check and see if you got the low court sensor hits down here on the radiator this one does not have it and if you ain't careful and you order one online you will end up with one that has a low coin temp sensor hole and us does not so these is not threaded so you can't plug them and that low coin sensor is a uh, 80 bucks and so you gotta add 80 bucks on just for something you ain't even gonna use but we got a tap and die set here and we're gonna actually tap this and then uh, put a bolt and plug on it with an o-ring and uh, pretty well plug it ourselves without spending that extra $80 and having to send this radiator back and be down another week to two weeks waiting for a refund. So stay tuned, we're gonna fix this. And once you find the o-ring, we got an o-ring kit here. O -wing. We match the o-ring up basically with the size of the boat. That See, now that O-ring will hold more pressure than that boat. Now we are running the tap uh, down in it. That way we can make our threads because you don't want to force threads, especially in something so brittle. And then we're going to cut a bolt down to size. And if you need no size of this, what we're using is a 13 by 20. Nope, it's a half, my bad. Half, one half by 20. Yep, one half by 20 is the size we're using. And you want to make sure your threads go all the way to the end. Us do. Should be good. This is just going to have about 15 pounds of pressure on it. Should be, I think that's what the lady cap is rested for. So the O-wing and the thread threads on the boat should work out perfect so now we just need to measure and get the size of it because you don't want to screw it all the way down and damage your core and you don't want to over tighten this when you do get it fitted you can actually buy a shorter boat for this with this is what we got this is caterpillar boat we're going to take off looks about a half inch Inch, yep. Now that leaves us with about a half inch size bolt. So we are now installing a shortened bolt. Now you want to make sure not to over tighten this because you can strip plastic very easy and an O-wing ain't made to uh, fully tighten up on, you know. That's what an O-wing's up for. That's it. So now we got the plug and everything settled in. You can actually put Loctite on this on the threads if you will paranoid now once you get that we can go ahead and uh, install the radiator in the car so we'll be showing you how to do that next so if you enjoyed this video on how to plug off your coolant tip sensor uh, let me know in the comment section you can actually buy a plug for this and then thread it yourself and uh, if you did find the information helpful be sure to drop a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button I appreciate it if you do I'll see you on the next video thank you for watching